This method can help answer key questions in the heat transfer field, including many related to internal cooling of gas turbine rotor blades. The main advantage of this technique is the full field heat transfer data collected and the proposed data reduction method. Those are able to reveal individual and interdependent effects of the Coriolis force and rotating buoyancy on local heat transfer properties. Demonstrating the procedure will be Guo Jingyu, Wei Ling Cai, and Hong Da Shen, three graduate students from my laboratory. The protocol requires the use of a rotating rig that consists of a shaft driven by a motor. The shaft drives a rotating platform that supports a test module. It also has a counterweight for rotational balancing. An infrared camera is in position to scan the test module. Features of the test module used for data collection are depicted in this exploded view schematic. When constructed, the Teflon frame, sidewalls, dividers, and top and back plates help define a square, two-pass channel with S-shaped inlet and outlet legs. The module's base attaches to the rotating platform. During experiments, stainless steel foil end walls carry current to generate heating flux. Copper plates help hold the foil in place. An air plenum chamber supplies pressurized airflow through the base, slightly off the center line of the inlet leg. Finally, exhaust from the outlet leg also goes through the base. Once assembled and in position, the exposed foil end wall is the leading end wall in the